DP, I'm like, let me do it again. DP, I'm like, Please. okay, let me try again. DP, I want to like, play the game. But instead, it's going to be Hayes and Ling playing the game. Uh, Ling, our number one seed, having been uh, taken out or taken into losers before Racket even began, having dropped things too tropical. But uh, we're going to see if Ling is able to make this losers run right now. First, having to go up through Hayes. All right, this is going to be a Hayes of a match. If you don't pay attention, keep your eyes peeled. Who, unfortunate for Hayes, tried to fight his way, or tried to reverse the situation with the back air, but Ling's neutral air resetting the situation once again. All right, both these characters are characters that you have to play around their projectiles. Obviously, you got Peach with their turnips, but you got the ever, oh my goodness, you got the ever flexible banana peel. Mostly flexible, but I mean, something that Hayes is gonna have to keep in mind is that so much of the stage control that Banana offers is just kind of null and void against Peach sometimes, who is gonna be spending most of her time floating just off of the ground. Mm -hmm. But the dash attack gonna be putting Ling now in the driver's seat with a stock lead. I think another advantage Peach has in this matchup is that they don't have to confirm into anything to kill at those high percentages. They got that dash attack, they got the back air. Absolutely, but he is getting a confirm of his own. The down tilt into up smash, Diddy Kong classic, and Hayes keeping things competitive. Only 40% extra credit, which when you're getting no, uh, only just getting a little bit out of that grab. But even so, getting the reset is keeping things uh, pretty even. It's quite unfair that Peach gets to bring in the helper there. <laughs> really, Queen. I mean, Princess, Princess. She's, she's got the whole king to mind her. That's right. Do you think each time it's a different toad? It's totally a different toad. <laughs> they gotta take breaks. Just got an entire army in the wings. Unfair. All right, but Ling making sure that Hayes is just not able to make it back to this stage. The ledge trapping and edge guarding is just too strong, and Hayes has not been able to really just play the game at all. There we go. We've been seeing a lot of Hayes' strengths in uh, previous matchups has been the neutral and advantage. A lot of uh, really powerful set play using the uh, projectiles that Diddy Kong can have. But I mean, Ling has just been able to so effortlessly make his way around that. I mean, even with the counter zoning right there, using the turnips to fight his way through. All right. Unfortunately, though, when Hayes is able to run away, Ling isn't really able to make anything happen until Hayes actually misspaces and tries to go in for something themselves. Oh, that empty movement with the float there was so good. Mr. Saturn, he's here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. For those of you who don't know at home, Mr. Saturn will break your shield. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. oh no, he's got Get, it. Getting the banana out of hand. Mr. Saturn, Mr. Saturn is Diddy please. Kong's new friend. No! no! Mr. Saturn! Mr. It's, Saturn! Oh! It's always so sad when people just let him fall like that. Get him back, please. Maybe in a different game, though, as Ling is going to be closing out Maybe game, game one with the back air. Uh, well, you know, I feel like everybody has the story of this, but what was your first time Mr. Saturn broke your shoes? Probably, probably like during casuals in Brawl, if I had to guess. Hmm. Mine was a tournament for Smash 4 at the Foundry in San That's Francisco. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Th thankfully, it was winner's round, but oh my god, I'll never forget that. First thing they pulled out, I'm like, ah, oh, it's Mr. Saturn, he's cute. Ooh. Shield break, I'm like, oh. Oh no. We actually have the Rob counter pick from Hayes. Gonna be, um, pro we're probably going to be seeing like more of that set play style game plan, but Gyro gonna be a little bit better at uh, po like counter poking Peach than uh, Banana is. I, I do think that... this is a better choice. Yeah. I mean, obviously Rob can space uh, Peach out a little bit more with the Gyro lasers without being forced to go in, but a big target. And Peach is a combo beam. Yeah. That being said, though, we are on uh, Town and City, which we were talking about before on stream, is so powerful for Peach and especially Ling. You know, Ling is not afraid to, uh, <laughs> like, float camp once uh, he gets those side platforms. And most characters really can't do much about that without having something slow or committal. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. I. I don't know if you noticed it, but uh, Hayes was able to just spot dodge like three down tilts in a row from Ling. Oh. 
it. That being said, though, if Hayes is able to keep that horizontal distance and keep Ling in the threat range of Laser, of Gyro, then he's going to be doing a little bit better here in this game, too. But just running right into the turnip. Oh, my God, we got oh, a bomb on. and a bomb. This is the second bomb that Ling's pulled this bracket. Is Ling lucky or what? Oh, my God, that shield's breaking. Two bombs, one Do Mr. It. Saturn. If only Beam Sword was still in this game. Is it not? I think it's... I, I don't remember if it's in the game, but it's, it's not, not in It's Peach's not in Peach's table. inventory. Aww. I know. I like I liked having the sword. Right? It was very funny. Sword is cool. Sword is hype. It'll Beam just sword. turn Peach Ooh. into a better mark. Beam sword is such a well-balanced item. Eyes. It really is. Uh oh. I liked getting the beam sword fighting Peach. It's just like, yo, I'm a sword missman now. <laughs> <laughs> sword fit trainer. Turns into the Peach version of uh, the Mario movie. If we fit a sword. No. Please, no. I think Hayes heard you. Got upset. Killed Peach. Yep, just throwing out that uh, arm murder. Catch and Ling floating a little bit too close. And Hayes bringing this to even stocks, but 105 already. He's going to have to find some uh, pretty good combos here to start things back in his favor. So we've seen Peach pull out a lot of turnips. Uh, what should the folks at home be uh, looking out for in regards to the different types? Uh, I mean... Pretty much any turnip in the hands of Ling is going to be like a potential death just because, you know, Ling is so good at those, uh, like, for lack of a better term, Twitter combos. You know, one touch is going to be super deadly from Ling. That being said, though, Hayes finding some good openings of his own, but only 58%. I mean, it feels like kind of what it's coming down to is Ling's ability to just maximize the reward that he gets off of each uh, neutral interaction. All right, looks like Ling has the gyro. Oh my gosh, barely. Oh, -ho -ho -ho! back up. Wow. You saw Peach just just gently float away from that. Like, no, thank you. Like, I'll wait. Arms reach within that spin. All right. Now Hayes just kind of getting a little bit too antsy there with the parry. He's trying to react after the first hit. Hayes just really unable to make a combo happen here as Ling is just doing their best to just keep them out with the turnips, the grabs, and the multi-hits that make Peach so powerful. Ooh, and there it is, like I was saying before, the Z-drop turnip into back air. That is going to be Hayes, or I mean Ling, sorry, uh, taking... That game was game two? two? That was game two. Are we in uh, best of five territory now? No, no, not yet. I believe that's uh, losers, winners, and winners finals. Sorry, <laughs> losers finals Wait. and winners finals and grands. Right, it looks like uh, Hayes is regretting that switch. Maybe switching back to Diddy here. Or Diddy? Nope, Diddy. Right back to Diddy. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Running it right back to Town and City for game three, which, uh, yes, does confirm we are in uh, best of five territory. Oh, we're best of five. Devin's yeah. asking, for all we know, this match could just get cut short. Oh, oops. Really? Oh, sucks. Oh. Devin's asking Jeff, because apparently well, Devin was not in charge of making the rules for this tournament. Oh. OK. Wayne's putting on the work to make to See if Devin doesn't even get the chance to ask. Oh, don't worry, we shall keep commentating. Right. I see I see Devin nodding his head, so I think we are good to continue on so far. Uh, Hayes, you know, keeping things pretty even so far. Down tilt into up air, not gonna be taking things quite yet. And I think I think I do like the Diddy pick coming back into town and city, just because Diddy Kong has uh, you know some much better burst movement to deal with Ling's uh, positioning on Town and City. Oh yes, and Diddy a much faster character here. And I know that uh, I was saying that Rob was a good choice because of the more spacing options and stuff with the gyro and the large attacks. But obviously, more running room is even better for Diddy. Wow, yeah, I think some yeah, odd DI there. Especially if you're looking for that sort of counter zoning game plan, you know that sort of poke style that Rob can allow for. Wow, Whoa, he's went for Trying it. to go in for it. Um, I think it wasn't quite working out with uh, Hayes' mental. I think he was just kind of getting caught, you know, getting a little too antsy 
here and there, but he feels right at wow. home here with the Diddy Kong, a pretty much full stock lead with that forward air off the side. You know what I think it is? I think he's playing more aggressively this time with Diddy. Absolutely. He doesn't have to download uh, Ling anymore. He's already played him with two characters. He's like, all right, I know what you're doing, and I'm going to do better. Yeah, and this aggression really seems to be working out. Another up B from the corner, not getting the explosion hitbox, but instead just choosing to reset to the other side of the stage. And Hayes' aggression is really just working out. And we're seeing, you know, not only a difference in game plan from the game two Rob, but even just Hayes' game one Diddy Kong, who yeah. was trying to rely a lot more on that set play style of game plan of layering his pressure using the grounded banana and the peanut pop gun but now just realizing you know i can just go in and press buttons right he's actually doing a really good job of actually just taking these safe trades obviously avoiding the really hard hits like the the crown slap or uh you know the back air but doing a great Ooh, job that's of just, it that's it Ooh, absolutely what a game hey what Hayes do you think has... he's drinking look at that cup that's yeah, a, that's, that's, a, that's a big, big Bepsi. Gulp. Big old Bepsi. Bepsi. Beepus. Meanwhile, <laughs> Ling, keeping keepin hydrated. EU players. So, yeah, All Hayes right, so. has definitely woken up, but he has to stay awake for two more games in a row to keep, you know, keep himself in this bracket. Well, well, Pepsi has caffeine in it, so he'll stay awake. True. He just has to take another he's sip if he's, like, feeling a little sleepy. He's he's got that uh, you know the sugar buzz. And see though if he can you know keep it going before he crashes. That's true. Sugar and caffeine crash, man. That's like a that's oh. bad. That's that's a double-edged sword times two. That's an all-edged sword. You touch it, you bleed. And and this is you know best of five that you have to work through. So this is a a test of it. This is going to be a test of endurance for Hayes as we come into this game four. All right, both swinging for the fences, both trying to make something happen. Very even game here so far. Yep, catching Hayes, getting a little bit too complacent, trying to pull out that banana, giving Ling an opening for that forward air. This is a very good neutral stage for both of them. No one, I feel like, has the advantage here. Yeah, I mean, Ling still gets, uh, like, that potential opportunity of camping on the uh, by flats. That being said, though, you know, Diddy's going to be able to use those two and really utilize that burst movement that he has and just keeping this pressure on it feels like Ling is not able to find any space for himself unfortunately Hayes just uh, going for those raw up smashes again no he gets punished yep finally the neutral air coming out for Ling finding himself a stock lead and not finding the down tilt into uh, forward air, unfortunately. Oh, All of the confirms that he got last game are not working. Ling has done a fantastic job of SDIing out of it. Absolutely. Oh, Hayes caught a little bit asleep at the wheel. We're just standing. Yeah, I'm Hayes, Hayes, you get, take a sip. Take a sip. Yeah. Take a moment. Get that, get that sugar going again. Oh my gosh, going low. Ooh, the up tilt. It's a surprise smash attack. Don't forget yeah. it. Right, but Taken we, after his big brother, DK. I think we definitely are starting to see the counter adaptation from Ling. Like, okay, if you're going to continue, you know, being aggressive, Peach has just, like, a fantastic neutral and a fantastic whiff punish game thanks to that float. And it's really starting to work out for Ling. Yeah, Hayes going to have to settle down here. All right, but the down oh, smash no. sending the wrong way. Hayes continuing to hold on to his second stock, but it is not looking good for the second stock so far. And wow, back what here. a float. Hayes taking a moment to think, breathe, and going right into this possible final stock of the tournament. Yeah, uh, that I mean, that situation really was just kind of a checkmate for Ling. Um, really all he had to do was uh, react to an air dodge or just react to Hayes doing nothing and falling into the back air. Oh boy, here we go. Hayes making something happen. Oh my gosh, what a B reversal trying to go for the early spike. I mean, you have to play like this if you're going to make it back. Yep, and the you know, just the float, uh, the float stalling off stage. Ling trying to ice Hayes out, trying to, you know, slow down that aggression that Hayes is not able to Make sure that Hayes is not able to enact that same game plan. All right, we're going for the Rob smashes, but hey, it works. Well, confirmed from Banana Top Smash, finally. Yeah. Hayes still in things, but 109. He has to play 
damn near perfectly. You know, just one turnip, one, uh, you know, raw forward air could spell the oh. end for Hayes. Instead, Hayes trying to find an early kind of cheesy oh kill gosh. for himself. Ooh, the edge cancels coming out from Hayes, and suddenly we're in an even game as Ling has to use an early up special to find himself some space on that recovery. All right, Ling Woo. playing a lot more defensively, being very careful here. Oh, no. All right, Hayes. Be oh, oh, what I a trade! That, was, yeah. that nod in Hayes' favor. Ling takes it. Absolutely not. That is going to be uh, Ling moving on 3-1 into loser's quarters. Woo! All right, then we got a, what, Hereta and Spider? Oh, yep. That's going to be a heck of a match. But obviously, let's talk about this match here. Phenomenal play from both players. I feel like Hayes was really down, really down little link for that uh, third match. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, third game. But, finally, by this uh, game four, just uh, couldn't make it happen. Couldn't make yeah, it happen. Yeah, just kind of a little bit too much experimentation in the early games. Which, I mean, you know, when you have best of five, you can take some of those early games to experiment. Experiment with your game plan. Experiment with your characters. But, you know, once you find the one that works, it kind of has to work for the rest of the set if you lost two games. Right. And unfortunately, Ling just was calling out that aggression in game, th and game four and was like, all right, I know what to do.